Anyway, Dr. Bruce is here, board certified. He's uh, he's taking a multivitamin. He did not put. <laughs> He, he he did not put the product in his hair, which usually guarantees a good show. He's going with the dry look tonight, which always means trouble. All right. You ready to rock here? I'm ready. All right. Let's uh, talk to... Uh, I'm just going down the line here. We'll talk to uh, Michelle, who's 16. Michelle? Hey, what's up? What's up? Um, I was just wondering about how I can get into the radio business and journalism and stuff like that, because I know you're like... The coolest person right now. Yeah, smoke detector. <laughs> All right, we're gonna need to focus on that first. I need to, uh, I need to pace your smoke detector. So it went off. About yeah, it 13. goes off a lot. I don't even hear it anymore. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good thing. Why don't you replace the battery? Go. Because that's my dad's job. Oh. Went off about thirteen twenty-two, and it usually goes off between thirty and thirty-five seconds. So I'm looking for something any second now. Let's just focus. There we go. Okay, that went off at uh, 57 uh, and then 32. So it's at 35 seconds. I, I've uh, Through doing uh, Loveline, I, I, I know how. It's probably the uh, Coleman uh, Smoke Buster series. Uh, let me just, uh, let me just, again, I, now I've become obsessed. I have to track it and time Yeah, it. I know. Okay, don't, don't, don't talk, baby doll. It's, it's going to go off. It should go off at 32 it's a little, 31 or 32, are you right? Five, four, three, two, oh, okay, 30. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Attack. All right, I'm going to, yeah, it's about 34 seconds. So it should go off at uh, 1504, I according got, to our I got 33. Plan. You got 33? Yeah. All right, let's see if I can uh, nail <laughs> this one. We're going to keep you on all night until I uh, actually nail it. Five, no, no, wait, I'm a little bit early. Oh, here we go. Let's see. I gotta go with to fifty nine. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. Still so off half, two seconds. Half, no, that was not two seconds off. Sorry. Jackass. All right, here's the point. Is this in your room or is it in the hallway? There is one in my room, but I don't actually know if it's the one like there's one in the hall there's like one everywhere. I, I don't know. Okay, how long has this been going off? Since we've been here. Oh. It's just like six Okay, years. well, you guys, let me go ahead and check your lease agreement. You guys moved in. It says uh, 92603. Uh, Hold on, let me pull that, up, pull that paperwork up. Oh, hold on a second. First off, Michelle is stupid enough to be in radio. <laughs> this could just work. I love that answer. How long has it been going off since, since we've, we've been here? Since we've been here. Mm -hmm. Uh, that that. By the way, if, if anyone wants to know why uh, I, I flirt with uh, driving off a freeway overpass every night on the way home, it's those kinds of answers. This is uh, this is why I have such disdain for our callers. But secondly, I, I've said it many times: the smoke detector every thirty seconds, and it's loud over the phone. It if is. you were in the small apartment and that thing was chirping, I would have an epileptic seizure after ten minutes. The point the point is is this would drive a reptile insane. <laughs> Do you understand that if you had, like, a snake in an aquarium, it would eat its own tail and kill itself because of that goddamn smoke detector? And these people who call our show actually go to sleep in the bedroom that it's in and have an amazing ability to eventually tune it out, which is what you would just have to do. Otherwise, you go insane. Correlation with abuse, I guarantee. You. Really? Must be. Michelle? Yeah. Were you ever abused? Um, yeah, maybe like three times. Who who did it? Um, there's this guy at my church, and, uh -huh. like, I guess I was like maybe four or five, I guess. And then there's another, the, the second one was a girl, but that only happened once. But the one guy, it happened like numerous of times, and it stopped, and I was like, um... Sexual abuse. Maybe eight. Maybe All right, eight. Oh. have you ever got any counseling? No. All right. 20. No. 54. So, so All right. Michelle, it may seem strange we're drawing a correlation of a, abuse yeah, with but ignoring a, but there, a you, very annoying stimulus. You but. have to be able to tune things out. Right. Absolutely. Okay. And by the way, this is this is abuse, by the way. Your dad not changing the goddamn battery <laughs> and the smoke detector. Would you tell your stupid no-count dad to get up on a chair and change his stupid battery? Yeah. Sure. Or why don't you just unhook it? 
if you're going to live dangerously anyway. Because like, the chances of your father changing the battery after I don't know how many years. Probably. Are you uh, okay? It went right at fifty-four. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> That's all I do is track smoke detectors on this show. As a matter of fact, if you don't have a smoke detector with a low battery chirp, don't bother calling. Don't call Loveline. All right. So, now, would you tell listen, Michelle? Uh, I'll tell you how to get. College. I'll tell you how to get a radio. I'll tell you how to get a radio. Go to a radio station and intern. Answer the phones. Drive the vans. Just get there and show up. That's how you get in a radio. Forget about all the broadcast classes and communication degrees. Forget about all that stuff. Go to the radio station. Get to the radio station. Start volunteering at the radio station. Next thing you know, you're answering phones, you're driving the van, and you're producing the morning show. All right? Thanks. All right. Good times. Amazing. That, 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 by the way, the, 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 he, okay, here's, it's an interesting subject, Bruce, which is the ability for human beings to tune out mm -hmm. the outside world. These are the people who uh, smell the high heaven and never know it. These are the guys driving around with the space saver spare tire on their car, and they're going on month 13. They're, they're able, once something is, it becomes part of the landscape, and they have zero ability to change. They won't enact any change. They tune it out, and I, I argue at that point you're more animal than human being. Well, or, or frequently at a, a very... Uh uh, impressionable age, as, as in this case, this person's had abuse. But if if something happens that's traumatic in an impressionable age, people tend to try and uh, establish that kind of a pattern, that kind of pattern of chaos in their lives. Right. So. Right, right. But good times. Hmm. I would take a mop handle, that thing. I would go insane. Yeah, they, and then I would take the, the mop handle to my dad <laughs> for not changing the 9 volt. Well, they designed that to be an annoying sound, one that you're not going to be able to put up with. And, I like, they had no idea. I mean, it, it actually, if here's here's the whole thing. Like, I wonder. Like, I would like to. I, they must have like a a smoke detectors manu, uh, smoke detecting manufacturers conference uh, that goes on every year. I'm sure it's uh, a lot of exciting guys wearing clip on ties. I would like to show up and speak to this group and go. You know that uh, super high, loud, annoying decibel chirp sound that uh, the thing makes every 29 seconds or so when the battery goes low. Not enough. Enough. Useless. We have people who are going on nine months of that chirp without changing the battery. You understand? Here's the here's what's going to have to happen. It is going to have to actually start a small fire in order to get. Uh, ironically, it needs to burst into flames because our the half the people in the country will not change the battery based on the loud audible chirp that goes off every thirty seconds for the rest of their life. They will tune it out like animals. I thought a subliminal message coming out of the thing would be the only. No, you, you, you might, it must like spray sulfur gas into the into the room. It must be something that makes your eyes water mm -hmm. that you actually have to like put a right. bag over your head and reach up and change a thing because they won't. And the other thing about smoke detectors is is everyone's whole thing is like you got to put them up on the ceiling. You've got to put them on the ceiling. They go on the ceiling because that's where all the smoke goes. Well, here's the problem: you can't reach stuff on the ceiling. And most idiots, once it's anything that's out of their reach, they, it ain't happening. Light right. bulb goes out, smoke detector goes out. There's a uh, roach on the ceiling. Uh, that, that would, uh, you, you can't reach it. You can't get to it. You can't do anything about it. Now, a monkey can figure out to slide a chair over if you put a banana on a string, but uh, not uh, half the people in this country. So uh, it's out of reach. I would say, why not put the thing down the wall two feet and just put it on the wall? Yeah, you know which I mean? in the instructions, which I've read many times, they tell you you can do that. Yeah, at least that way you can get right. to it. And then here's the other problem, quite honestly. Nobody has 9-volt batteries lying around the house. Everyone has the AA, the Cs, and trouble. They have the stuff for the flashlight. They have the stuff for the Walkman. You know, they have the stuff for the, uh, for the for the games and the toys and stuff like that. But they don't have the 9 volt they're sitting around. And I believe that's a deal breaker for half the people. I have them sitting around. You can oh. test speakers with them. Now, yeah, but no, listen. <laughs> hey, put them on your no, tongue. They, yeah, they're the least... Used. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, th Dr. Bruce over here knows everything about <laughs> smoke detectors. And night has a uh, has a barrel of nine volt batteries. Yet can't make the national radio show on time. Fascinating dichotomy. Mm. Should that name a cologne after you? Uh, Call what it, what uh, would that be? Tardy. <laughs> you had your fun. <laughs> All right.